we're back in the shop working on our 2001 Sportsman 500. Uh, today's project's going to be rear wheel bearings. These are uh, wore quite extensively. There's a lot of play in the back wheel. So right now we've got the new bearings in the freezer. It says that they're a press fit and to uh, put them in the freezer for a while first to shrink them up a little bit to help them go in. Um, so I guess we'll get started on this. Get, get the wheels off first. All right, we'll start by buzzing the wheel off. Those are a little tight. So it looks like all those bolts are 9 sixteenths. Going the right way here. There we go. That feels like there's a little Loctite on those. Come on. There we go. Yeah, and there was a little Loctite on them. You can see it on there. A little bit of blue. Now, these spacers that are in here have to pull back a little bit in order to get this out. And that can be a bit of a challenge, let's see. There we go. That side's out. Threads on the bolt usually have just enough grip where you can grab the inside of that spacer and walk them back a little bit. Getting there. There we go. A little whack with your hand and out it comes. Okay, so there's the bearing we're going to replace right here. And not sure whether you can, a camera picks that up, but boy, that doesn't sound good. And there's the little lip that that spacer sits in. That's why I have to pull it back a little bit to get it out. So we'll take that over to the workbench and clean it up a little bit and figure out how these bearings come out. So I need to get this over to the parts washer, get it cleaned up a bit before I can even see how it comes apart. So that's what we'll do next. Get it cleaned up. So now we got this off and cleaned up, I guess the first thing to do would be get the snap ring off. And, well, I don't have a good pair of snap ring pliers, just some cheap old ones. So this could be a bit of a challenge. We'll see how that goes. They don't even open up far enough. You got a screwdriver behind it, it might be able to pry it out. So again, better tools would make this job easier.
There we go. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. Now, this gets pressed out, or banged out, hammered out. There's three little divots in the back side. I'm guessing that's where you put your punch. And just start hammering on it until it comes out. I guess once it gets flush with this, the face here, then we'll have to prop her up on a couple blocks and keep hammering. Now, I think what we'll do first is uh, we'll heat this up a little just with some propane, get it warm. It is supposed to be quite the uh, press fit. I'll do that for a couple minutes and I'll come back when I flip it over and start whacking on it. So this should be close to warm enough and then we've been putting a little bit of PB blaster along there too to see if we can't help it break free a little bit. Like I said, our new bearing is in the freezer. That should help with the install. All right, let's get out the big hammer and give this a try. It is warm. Well, that's coming right out. Yeah, as far it's down as uh, far as it will go without uh, blocking it up here. There we go. Everything's falling off the bench. That propane got it pretty warm. Come on. Let's double these up. I can't believe how hot that is for just propane. There we go. All right, so it's out. That's what she looks like. It's even a little warm. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll clean this up with a little emery cloth and uh, put the new bearing in. Wipe it out with a rag first. Clean out the groove. Still really warm. And I'm just gonna take some emery. Thought I had some out here somewhere. There we go. And 
just clean it up slightly. any tool marks or any scoring on it. All right, so let's get some brake clean. Can's almost empty. Go get the new bearing and try to get that in while it's still warm. I don't know if you can see in the camera or not, but the bearing's got frost on it. So what we'll do is we'll just uh, get the torch out again. Just heat this up just a little more because I think that's key. Pretty tight fit. Give that a shot. Okay, so what I'm going to drive it in with. Oh, look at that. It just slid right in. Now, the other side did not do that. Wow. <laughs> That's perfect. I'm surprised. I was planning on using the race from the old bearing and driving it in with that. But hey, a little bit of heat and bearing in the freezer gives you just enough clearance. Now if I can find where I left the snap ring. All right, anybody see where I put it? Come on, it's here somewhere. Ah, there it is. All right. I'll just take a rag and clean it up. Quite surprised at that. I didn't expect it to slide right in. But the manual did say to put the bearing in the freezer and to heat up the hub. Boy, they said a snap ring pliers would come in handy, wouldn't it? But we got it in. Get the pliers back. Yeah, look seated. I'll just take a screwdriver and give it a tap just to make sure. Yep, snap ring is seated. So we're ready to put that back on the bike. So putting this back together should be pretty straightforward. We'll just slide the hub over the axle. Get the top bolt in. 
is not on. At the bottom, we have to line up those bushings. There we go. That one just slid right in. That one's in. Ratchet to hold the top. All right, we'll just put a ratchet on there to make sure we're tight. We go the right way. All right. Good and tight. Okay, before we put anything else on, we're going to run the grease gun around it just because it's so much easier to grease these when the wheel's off. One, two, a couple pumps there. A couple there. And out. Good there. And the upper arm too. There we go. Easier to do it now than later. Okay, next would be the hub. Two washers. And the hub nut. Axle nut. See how I can hold this. Might need a pry bar. Okay, I got a pry bar across the uh, lug studs. Just holding it enough where I can line this castle nut up. There we go. With a hole in the axle to get the cotter pin in. And yes, we're reusing the cotter pin. Tap that down a little to, there we go. Make sure it's tight or that rubber boot won't go back over. Okay. All that's left, put the wheel on.
Well, if you like this video, found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate that. And if you want to see more videos on working on our sportsmen's, you know, subscribe to my channel. I always use more subscribers. Well, no more play. Look like that did the trick. Alright, thanks for watching.